G'day shooters, the LH25 Thermal Monocular is the top of Hick Micro's Lynx Pro range. It offers a very light, compact and practical spotter with decent optics for $2400. And if that's where your budget lies, you should definitely have a look at this one and I'll tell you why. Now I tested it in combination with the Hick Micro Thunder TH35 Thermal Scope and they're available together as a package for $5700, that's in 2021. And that'll save you $450 between them. The crucial thing is you get a complete setup, a hunting outfit with a spotter and a scope for less than the price of many single units. Anyway, make sure you check out the review of the Thunder TH35 elsewhere here when you've finished this one. The image quality of the LH25 is a big step up from the base level Lynx Pro LE10 that we reviewed recently, with the primary advantage that you'll find a lot more game with the LH25. Its detection range of almost 1200 metres is very respectable and seems to be a really accurate claim given that I could easily detect sheep and kangaroos on a hill that was a measured kilometre away. I couldn't see that they were actually roos and sheep, but I could work out what they were because I knew the land, I knew the stock that was on it and I could see how the roos were moving. It was that clear a picture. The LH25 picked up rabbits very clearly more than 200 metres away, which is something the LE10 struggled with. The Lynx Pro has a 384 by 288 pixel sensor, which is a medium sized unit. It's got a 25 mm focal length, which is the biggest in the Lynx Pro range, and it gets a distinct improvement in optical clarity for it. Its magnification is also the biggest in the range, going from two and a half times at the bottom up to almost 20 times in increments of digital zoom that naturally increase pixelation as you go. The field of view is narrower, but that's a result of the higher zoom, but I found it was still quite useful in spotting mode, being just over 10 degrees wide at the base magnification. It's wider than the TH35 scope that I was using alongside it, and definitely better for finding targets, as well as locating downed animals afterwards. The clarity of the image was very good too for a monocular at this price point. Image clarity seems to be a strong point for Hick Micro. The four colour palettes combined well to aid target finding and identification in varied terrains and conditions. The red hot setting was quite contrasting, so particularly hot signals really stood out. The downside of the contrast level is that some things that I felt should have shown up red didn't, but this applied either to more distant targets or to portions of an animal that would have been more easily identified if it had been more fully lit up. Red hot's not the colour of choice, of course, for clear images, just for target identification or rather target detection at the beginning. The other palettes, black hot, white hot and fusion, showed much better clarity for target identification. Hunting with the Thunder TH35 scope on the rifle and the Lynx Pro in my hand, I'd use the Lynx to spot targets, and if identification was still a problem, I'd check it out through the TH35, which provided a better picture again. As a combination, they really partnered well. The LH25 has similarities to the TH35, including its sensor size, the 35 millikelvin heat contrast figure, and the F1 aperture. The LH25 smaller 12 micron pixels for the sensor are very compact, facilitating its compact overall dimensions, but I do wonder if maybe that's one reason the Thunder has slightly better clarity. The four firm buttons lined up along the top of the Lynx Pro's body are an excellent design that's tactile and can be used fairly well with gloved hands. The straightforward menu functions are a cinch to navigate. The Lynx Pro has lots of standard features an app that allows screen sharing and so on, a built-in battery that lasts a good six hours and more if you use a standby mode, video and photo capture at 720 by 576 pixels, and ample image storage space in the eight gigabyte memory for pics of that size. There's plenty more that I could say, but I don't have time for it now. Put it this way, it's not lacking for features. It weighs less than 300 grams and is only 17 centimeters long, so it's as portable as they come. There's plenty of good things to say about the LH25, most of all though, its image quality and detection ability are not all that far behind that of monoculars that cost twice as much. True, you could say the same of lesser units if you were comparing them with this one, but there seems to be a really good balance of value here. As I said earlier, if the Lynx Pro LH25 fits your budget, make sure you put it on your shortlist. It's a good one. There I am on me hunt watching this little bunny when there's this bloody great roar behind me. I look around and all of a sudden these guys go flying over, doing a low level, lights out, nighttime navigation exercise. A bit thrilling.
But then the bastards, they'd scared me bloody rabbit away. You'd think they'd have better things to do with themselves.